Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at JS sequence diagrams, which like it says right here on the website, turns text into UML, which is Unified Modeling Language, sequence diagrams. Now UML actually has a handful of diagrams uh, that it can generate or represent, uh, but JS sequence diagrams specifically focuses on sequence diagrams and outputs those as SVG. Uh, they've got a bunch of great examples here on the website. We're just going to jump in uh, to our own HTML and start marking this up. Uh, right off the bat, it does have some dependencies, one of those being underscore and the other one being Raphael. It's got those here on the page as well as the sequence diagram min, which is the JS sequence diagrams library. Okay, so on my page, I'm going to create a pre where I can put the text that I want to convert. Then I'm going to create another div uh, that I want to drop the SVG in. So the pre is going to have an ID of text and the other one's going to be uh, ID of diagram. So there we go. Uh, now down here in our script, I'm going to, uh, so the way we tap into this is, is uh, let's see, var diagram equals, and we can get into it, it is a global object here on the, the page. Uh, what I'm going to do is diagram.parse, then I'm going to pass in that pre and get its inner text. So document.get element by id text and I want to get its inner text. So now we've got that, uh, whoops, I don't think that's right, DXT. Let me stretch this out a little bit so we can see everything. And then I'm going to say, uh, so uh, diagram, this is our object here, dot draw SVG. I tell it where I want to put that, which is in my div with the idea of diagram. And I'm going to also pass in this object, which really only takes one option for theme, and there's uh, there's actually only two themes as far as I know. And just to try this out, so in my pre, I'm going to add a participant to my diagram. I'm going to say customer, and load that up just so we can see it. Nope, I totally messed something up. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, diagram parse. Got the inner text. Oh, and you know what? I forgot that. Okay, so we've got a participant on the page. Now you don't necessarily have to identify your participants in advance, uh, but there is a benefit to it, and I'll show you that really quick. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna say customer. Uh, so that's a participant automatically, and the way that one thing can communicate with another thing, at least visually, is this uh, tack greater than, and that's gonna create an arrow. So let's say customer to website. So now website is a participant, and the customer is gonna say, I'd like to buy this. Okay, so let's take a look at that really quick. Oh. I'd like to buy this. Okay, so the customer is saying to the website, I'd like to buy this. Now, one uh, example of where we might want to identify our participants in advance. So if I if I load this up, everything's the same, but what I can do up here without changing any of my sequencing is I can rearrange those participants, and now you can see websites on the left and customers on the right. Uh, so uh, let's see, we're gonna go back to the customer on the left, in the website we're going to add one more that's going to be paypal and we're going to give this thing a title which is another option here so title uh, checkout process whatever okay uh, checkout flow so you can see i've got a title up there so the customer says i'd like to buy this let's say the website then says to paypal uh, uh, handle this, whoops, handle this, will ya? All right, so now the website's saying to PayPal, handle this, will ya? And then let's say PayPal comes back and says to the website, all set, whoops, sorry, to the website, all set, and then the website passes that on to the customer, all set, and let's say that PayPal also speaks directly to the customer and says, uh, we sent you an email about this order. So let's take a look at that really quick. I'm gonna bring this over, try to keep all this stuff on the page. So you can see, you know, the customer says, I'd like to buy this, handle this, will you? The website says to PayPal, all set, all set. We sent you an email about this order. Now this nice long one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that a dotted line. And so for that, we just do double tack greater than and you can see we've got a dotted line there. Uh, in some instances, let's say we wanted an open arrow rather than this closed triangle. So you can see we've got an open arrow right there. 
Uh, in addition to that, we can also add notes. So let's say we want to have a note, uh, note right, no, left of customer, customer, and it's going to say, so happy. All right, let's load that up. So now we've got this note to the left of the customer that says, so happy. Awesome. Uh, we could also have the customer or any item uh, talk to itself. So customer to itself says, you know, smiley face. Then we get this little loop back arrow there. Uh, so let's take a look, really quick look at this other theme, which is hand. And so now you've got this kind of cool little hand-drawn looking thing. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it works. Uh, so there you go. That's JS Sequence Diagram. Uh, I think it's really cool. And I uh, hope you do too. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you have a good one.